Hello and welcome to KG Tutorials. Subscribe and turn on the notifications now. In this linear algebra 2 lesson, we are going to talk about the power set of the empty set. We are going to introduce the empty tendy rule and do examples. Right. If A is empty, then what is the power set of A? Hmm? What is the power set of A? Okay, this is how we go about. Now we know that since A is empty, then now the power set of A is equal to the power set of empty set. Okay? Right? Now we want to know the number of the sets in the power set of A. How, how many numbers of E in the power set of A? It's only zero. Why? Because A is empty. Okay? A is empty. That's why we're saying it's zero. And then that means that the, 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 the empty set is the subset of A. Okay? Alright. Now, let's continue. <coughs> Therefore, this means that the power, the power set of A it's equals to the subset of mt the problem is solved now to add on this if the cardinality of a it's equals to m then the cardinality of the power set of a it's equals to 2 to the power n this is the hemdy denty rule this rule is what we're going to use in most of our examples to on trying to calculate the p the, the power sets all the power sets okay now if the if the the cardinality of of mt is zero then that means that the cardinality of the power set of mt set it's two to the power zero which is just one that means after calculating the the power set of mt i must get the only one subset okay for example the power set of mt set is equals to the subset of mt it's only one subset so now the problem is solved now let's head on to example two they said we calculate the power set of the uh, subset mt set okay the first thing we have that we're going to do we're going to calculate the cardinality the cardinality of this power set okay how many set do we have in this power set we only have one that means it's going to be two to the power one the answer is z is two so this means that our subset should be two after calculating this power set okay here's a tip always bear this in your mind that all the power set of the empty set contains the empty subset always Begin by writing this empty subset as, you, as in your answer, okay? The second thing, what do you do now? The second thing that you do now, you must know that always the set of our power set will be one of the members in, into our subset when calculating the power set. So now here, because we only ha we, we're only expecting to have two subsets. So that's why at the end we're going to write that set as our subset that we had in the power set. Note that we have only this set in this power set. So that's why now we write it here. So at the end we have our two subsets and then that's our answer. Let's go to example three. In example three, you can see this can look like fam I mean the same as example two, but it's not. Okay. Now, the first thing, what do we do? We calculate the cardinality. When we calculate the cardinality, what do we have? We only have one set there. That means we have two to the power of one, which is two subset. We are expecting two subset at the end of 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 calculating our power set. Okay. Now, I gave you a tip. The first thing, all the M, all the power set of empty set contains the empty set first. 
and then the last subset will be your set in your power set what we had in the power set it's right here at the last you are done you have two subsets and that's your answer so easy let's go to example four now we have something a little bit complicated but not that complicated just just follow all these guidelines i'm going to give you and you're going to answer this thing simply and easily right now first calculate the coronality here we have two sets okay so this will be two to the power of two which we're going to have four subset at the end of this uh, calculation now how do we get those four subsets i said to you what you do first write down the empty set because the power set of the empty set contains the empty subset okay and the last subset here will be everything that you have inside the power set but now we are not at the last we are looking for the second subset the second subset will just be this first set that we have here and as you can look at as you can look at that we only have a empty set okay so now we write it down and then we also have another set inside our power set that one that has two double parentheses so we're going to write it down and the last one is everything that i have in the power set and then now by looking at this i have one two three and four subsets and that's my answer problem solved so easily people thank you for watching like comment and subscribe to this channel you can also talk to me on kg tutorials at gmail.com i can't wait to see you in the next lesson